So on this one here we have Sharpie marker on tag board. A little bit of the color wash was done in color pencil and chalk rubbed on a rag and then blended into the background. A little bit of color pencil there. Everything else is just Sharpie marker. My first time doing artwork in Sharpie marker. Freehand artwork. This piece here is actually my life story. I did it as part of my recovery and my treatment. The counselor wanted me to take a bunch of magazines, cut out pictures, put them on this piece of paper, this tag board here, and have it describe my life story. In all the magazines that she gave me were Family Circle, uh, Bride, Bride whatever, Home and Gardening, stuff like that. And there was not a picture in there that described my life. So I drew my life. And this was the result. These six right here, I did for my wife for various birthdays, holidays anniversaries these are all these first three are oil pastel on drawn paper this one's actually a canvas board that was my first oil pastel I did that as a practice came out pretty good it got framed that's colored pencil a little bit of ink I started out my artwork in ink. This is all ballpoint pen, even the colors. Again, did the background shading, color pencil, rubbed on a rag, and then rubbed the rag on the paper. How you get that to look like a sheet of paper on there? Put an actual sheet of paper, take the color pencil on the rag, rub it, and then you have to draw each line on. That's all ballpoint pen. The yellow is colored pencil, the rest of it's ballpoint pen. This one here I actually drew for somebody and they never picked it up, so I've had it. This one was just a doodle. Just messing around on a piece of scrap paper with some new pins that I'd gotten. Can't really tell from the camera, I don't think, but I actually did some of a glitter pin. Which was my first time using glitter pins. And this one here was a doodle I did on a piece of drywall with ballpoint pen probably 25 years ago it came back to me probably 10 years ago after a family member had discovered it and returned it to me which I appreciated that was during my beginnings of tattoo style artwork which this is the only example that I have left from them days And these two bottles, this one here and the one in the box, were just little projects that I did for gifts for my wife. Bought everything at Hobby Lobby separately. Put it all together. Wrote out a message inside on a piece of paper. Drew it out real nice. This one has a piece of jewelry that is kind of have meaning I lined the inside of the box with these fake rose petals glued each one in fitted them in 